So what we done? We've done already. X squared plus five x plus six. Let's say I had to factor that particular function. You factor it into the two parentheses. It's going to start with x's. The trick was to remember that the middle term, I'm sorry, that these two numbers will add up to the middle term, but will times to make the last term. So you got to think of what two numbers will times to make 6, but add up to make 5. Those are going to be the two numbers that you fill in to the parentheses. Joanne? Um, negative 2 times 3? No, I think too much, Joseph. Oh. 2 and 3. It's okay. These are the basic examples that we did for two days. What we're going to do today, though, is I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to add a number in front of the x squared. So I'm going to show you what changes. So let's say if I give you 2n squared plus 15n plus 7. I'm going to factor that into two terms that are multiplying each other. I'm going to use the box here because this one's a little bit trickier to get it down. <sighs> All right, so for these three terms, which one of these boxes can I fill in right away? The 7. Or that goes in the lower right box. The 2n to the second power. We'll go in the first box. These two boxes, once again, these are the tricky ones to get. And I'm going to change slightly what I told you. They're still going to add up to the same thing. These two boxes are still going to add to equal 15. I guess you know there's going to be an N here. They're going to add up to make 15. What they're going to multiply to, though, is a little bit different. And it's different because of this 2 in the first box, of this 2 next to the n. So not only are these two numbers going to add up to 15, they're going to multiply to make whatever these two multiply to make. So wait. These two terms here multiply to make what the two green boxes multiply to make. Before, there was only a number down here, so I told you just to look at this number, or look at the last number, 7. Now, look at the first and the last numbers. Now there's a number in the front. These two times to make 14. That means whatever these two are will also times to make 14. And they're also going to add up to 15. So they add to 15, and this time they're going to times to the same as 2 times 7, or 14. And we got to guess what two numbers am I going to put in the boxes, Chase? Uh, it's 14 and 1. 14 and 1. Uh, Isn't 14 times 1, 14, and 14 plus 1 makes 15? Now, with this 2 in front of the n, these aren't the answers in my box in the factors here. I actually have to factor from the box to get the two answers. You have a question, Chris? Okay. So I'm going to factor now. Let's start with the side 2n squared and a 1n. What can I factor out of both of those terms? Just 1 and an n. What about sideways here? What can I factor out of 14n and 7? Okay, so one of my terms is going to be n and 7. Let's go up. 2n squared and 14n. What can I take out of that? A 2 and an n. And here, what can I factor out of 1 and 7? Just 1. Now that I factored, I got my two things. 2n and a 1, an n, and a 7. 
the trick was these two green boxes still add up to the middle but they will times to make what the first and last times to make or what these two times to make these two boxes times to make the same thing as these two boxes I'm just talking about the coefficients not the actual ends and when you notice when there are numbers in front of the end like this these have nothing to do with the two numbers you picked we got 14 and 1 but look our numbers are 1 and 7 and then there's a 2n So it's just a little more complex, but it's still the same process as before. Taylor, you sure? I'll try another one. 7x squared plus 50x plus 7. I want to factor that into the two terms that it becomes. I'm going to draw a box. And this is why I told you that even though you didn't use the box, you still have to know how to use it. Because these problems here kind of require it. And we're going to start by filling in the two boxes that you already know. Brandon, what two terms could I fill into my boxes for this problem? Right. The other two boxes, those are the tricky ones. Those two have to add up to make 50. You know there's going to be x's in them. The coefficients are going to add up to make 50. So I'm looking for two numbers that add up to make 50. And what are they going to times and make? They're going to times and make the same thing as these other two boxes. 7 times 7 is 49, so these other two boxes much times to make 49 as well. Two numbers that times to make 49 but add up to 50. Yeah, Hunter? Isn't it 1 times 49? It is. 1 times 49 makes 49, and 1 plus 49 okay. makes 50. So these two boxes here have to be 1 and 49. Remember, it doesn't matter where you put them. You'll still get the same answer. I'll put the 1 down here and the 49 up here. So now we can factor. I'll start sideways. Start with the top row. What can I divide into 7x squared and a 49x? And an x. 1 and 7 can both be divided by... Going vertically. Up and down. What goes into 7x squared and a 1x? Just an x. 49x and 7 can both be divided by... So these are our two answers, 7x and 1, and x and 7. Does it matter which one you put first? Does not matter which one you put first. I'll pause here. Any questions on wait, where I got the 49 and the 1 from, why it's 50, where did I pick these terms from? Yes, sir. That works perfect. <laughs>